All right, guys, welcome to another awesome podcast episode of RV Camping with Wade's RV. I have some special guests with me here today. I have our account manager, Troy. Also, a special guest, we have Matt Ellinger. Is it Ellinger? Yep, Ellinger. He's a, yep. ba- I knew I was going to mess that up. That's I was right. a little nervous, but you I was like, I, I got it right. So um, he is a vice president of sales, and this is your first time to go west, young man. It is. It is. <laughs> I'm super excited. Yeah, it's 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 hot. There's no yeah. question about it. But uh, being from Tampa, Florida, this is, this is old hat. This is nice. That's awesome. And so, uh, Troy, we were talking about this before the episode, and I wish, you know, sometimes when you have that pre-conversation, I wish we could capture that because when you know the cameras like recording, you forget all those awesome conversations. But you were explaining the reason why uh, you brought Matt out here, why he wanted to come visit our locations and stuff like that. And could you kind of um, tell the viewers? Well, the biggest thing is uh, Matt is our new vice president of sales. And he said that he wanted to go and visit dealers. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, raising my hand. (laughs) I'm like, you got to come West. Yeah. And to see what, uh, our dealer network is really made of. And the first trip is we wanted to visit premier dealers. And I took this opportunity to say, Hey, we, we got to go to Oklahoma and we got to go see Wade's RV because they're such a unique dealership. Uh, they're a lot like Numar that we've both formed together. You know, Numar was founded family oriented. You're little weight and there's big weight. <laughs> yeah. The dealership is like that uh, from a family, uh, um, you know, customer base. So that's important um, for, you know, Wade's uh, RV uh, taking on the Numar brand. The other thing is I, I met with the service and the salespeople today to thank them because Wade's RV uh, year to date it has the number one selling brand in the state of Oklahoma, what? which is Dutch star. So when you want to buy a motorhome, yeah. you want to buy it from Wade's, yeah. buy a new Mar and you're the best. Yeah. So those are some of the things that what we did. And then the, the real, uh, situation of why we wanted to come here too is Wade's RV just took on our new super C. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is the superstar, and we have one here, and I did some sales training uh, from them uh, from that poem. Yeah, so every time I hear that, you gotta, you almost have to say it just like this, superstar. He's a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go, yeah. It, No, yeah, like that unit, I remember going down to the event in uh, Colorado and seeing that for the first time, and when we raised our hand, yeah, we're going to carry this product. That thing, I was so impressed. That thing is so awesome. Um, and I'm glad that you were out here, you know, training our guys on, yes. on all of the different options and how to work it and stuff like that. And I know that's very important. We always preach the Wade's, uh, the Wade's RV difference. Mm-hmm. And we also preach the Numar difference along with that. And Matt, uh, what would you have to say about, um, you know, um, the Numar difference and how that kind of, kind of, uh, goes hand in hand with the Wade's RV difference. Yeah. I mean, one of the things that I think coming here to Wade's, what I felt when I first walked in was like what Troy said, a b- very much a family atmosphere. It was, it was where you want to go. And, and, and we talk a lot internally at Numar about customer experience mm-hmm. and we have customer experience, CSI scores, both in service, both in warranty and also when you deliver the coach. So, we want the customer at their first engagement point of them looking at a motorhome, whether it's online or through a brochure, to when they first step into any one of our dealers to, one, feel at home. And I think that's exactly what Wade's makes them do. But also be knowledgeable. Mm-hmm. And that's what Troy's here doing is is um, making sure that he gives all of your sales team from from everybody with on, on the team to be able to talk intelligently about our coaches. And, and you brought up when you know the difference, because we take a lot of pride in how our motorhomes are built. Mm-hmm. And when you take pride, when you have experienced craftsmen, you know, that, that are building your motorhomes, one thing that I talked about is that it, it, once you buy a Numar, and let's say you bring it back, and if you want to trade, you can tell a Numar lives well, right? And, and some other manufacturers, they might not live well. Mm-hmm. They, they, they might have some issues that whether you've been down a certain amount of time uh, for service, 
you know, a Newmar comes back and says, okay, I want to go into another Newmar. We see that. We like keeping people, again, into the family. So yeah. that's one of the things that, that I'd say when you know the difference is look at the construction of the motor home that you're looking to buy. Really dig into how that coach is built, how many are built in a year. Yeah. And then ultimately who you buy from, we want, we want the most knowledgeable sales people out there because – you know, that helps us sell our motor homes is partnering with, with really valued business partners like Wade's. That's awesome. And Troy talking about the super C, the superstar. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you think, what sets this super C apart from all the other super C's in the market? Um, the biggest thing I think when you look at, uh, brands out there, Numar is well known and branded for a luxury motor home yeah. manufacturer. And the superstar has that. Everything that we have from luxury, you know, in the Dutch Star, if you look at uh, Mountain Airs, London Airs, Essex, and King Airs, concept is in the Superstar. Mm -hmm. Residential build. But what makes the Superstar unique is the handling and the ride. Okay. Because we're one of those few manufacturers that use the air cab and air seats. There you go. So when you drive that coach... Okay, I'm a little biased. I got the Newmar blood in me. Yeah, you'll uh, know the difference. There's, there is no other Super C that handles better than the Superstar. So, there you go. Wow. Um, so I got a test drive the Super C. We did a commercial not too long ago, and I was highly impressed. Everybody was looking at me like you would have thought I was like Garth Brooks driving down the road. They were like, <laughs> "What the heck is that?" So, and yeah, so you guys had the training here. You're head, you're headed up to Goldsby. Mm -hmm. You excited about that, Matt? Yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait to see both locations. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Sure. And, um, you know, I always talk about when you come to the Glenpool location, you'll find my dad in the shop. He's working on something out there. Um, and you'll find my uh, brother in the parts department. You'll find uh, Maggie as a service writer. And so I think all of that, it, it makes, you know, goes hand in hand with the family environment. But um, we all kind of know and we help out with uh, those different elements. And you guys have uh, different aspects that you guys utilize, like that 24-hour service, like if you're out there and you say, because you buy Newmar, it's the best of the best, but when you're out there, you're going to have a question. You're going to come up, there's going to be an issue. They might not be able to get a hold of one of us, you know, that, because a lot of our customers, they have our cell phone numbers, you know. Mm -hmm. But what if they don't get a hold of us? You guys have the service where it's like a 24-hour service and you have a, a specialized person that knows that super C and they'll be able yeah. to answer all those uh, questions. Can you so expand on that? To expand on uh, what we do at Numar is, you know, I'm, I, I'm your sales account manager. Yes. You have a service account manager. His name's Phil King. And he basically takes care of the units, warranty, everything from that standpoint. Now, let's say Little Wade, you sold that first superstar, the customer's out on the road. Mm -hmm. Then we have a whole nother department that all they do is take care of you is yeah. the brand specialist. And each person within that department is assigned a product. So like we have a person that's assigned to based our sports. We have a person that is assigned to superstar and Supreme air. That's all she does is take questions on super C's mm. so that she gets familiar, you know, gives some tricks to the trade if you need to. Now in emergency situations, there's always someone that is in call mm. that has a cell phone um, so if you need to, you can call that number or sometimes you would email, you know, the department for the brand specialist. Okay. I like that. And, uh, so what else do we have on here to talk about Willie D? How many years have you been in the RV industry? Whoa, really? You had Come to go on. there. Look at the gray hair. <laughs> Many. Uh, look at, look yeah. at the gray hairs poking in over here. So actually, I started out right out of college in 1988. Okay. Uh, and I uh, worked for Coachman RV Company. Coachman uh, RV. Yep. Okay. Mike Turlop and Ron Fennick were my two bosses. Oh, wow. And they're, you know, really kind I've of I've heard icons. of those names a time yeah. or two. They've had a couple of companies. Yeah. I, I should have stayed with them for a lot longer. <laughs> um, but that's when I really got into the RV industry. I took a little stunt out of the RV industry. But the biggest thing for me is I also own three RVs. I'm a big camper, tailgater. Oh, yeah. I love camping and motorhoming. Uh, from that standpoint, you know, my last one was a Ventana 3412 uh, LE. Uh, what do you have now? I just sold it. 
Okay. Because I took some time off because yeah. my son graduated college. We were going back and forth to football games. Mm-hmm. Um, so a long time in the RV industry. Yeah. 1988. A long so, time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um, why? Oh, wait, hold on. Before I ask the next question, what is your favorite RV camping memory or just motorhome memory? Uh, probably the latest one was the experience that my son, you know, with, uh, playing Liberty football division one. Okay. Um, I would be the only motorhome in the parking lot tailgating and had everything out there. And it was a new Mar, you know, <laughs> I could just my, see it my Ventana <laughs> and everybody came to us. Yeah. You know, we were, you know, a lot of parents and that we looked forward you know, I would leave from Indiana, 11 hour drive, Okay. pull into the parking lot on a Thursday night or a Friday night. You know, my wife's making his sausage biscuits and gravy. Yeah. That's probably my best and latest, you know, RV experience. Okay. Um, you know, early on, uh, I had a class C and, you know, my kids started out, uh, you know, in, in RVs and my oldest son works for Dutchman. Oh, wow. uh, and he's a, a factory rep, so it's in the blood. So That's so awesome. Yeah. So my grandparents always took me and my sister RV camping every summer for about a week at the lake and some of my favorite childhood memories. So, uh, Matt, do you have any awesome memories of RV camping? Yeah, you know what I was going to say, too? A uh, little bit about what Troy said is our engineers use our motorhomes. We have oh. two demo units that we've built, right? Uh-huh. It's a Ventana and a Country Star. And that they're open for all of the engineers to use, all of us to use. Um, you know, we, we, we make sure that if, if you're going to build this and if you're going to construct a motorhome and you want the, the cup holder here instead of here, mm-hmm. they're actually using the coach. So how many times have you heard, geez, these guys, it's like they never use them. Yeah. Right? You know? yeah. Well, at Newmar, we make them use them. That you know, is so it is awesome. A, you know, it's a, it's a requisite. So I think you know having those two out there. Um, same thing with me. Our, our, I live down in Tampa, Florida. Our family boats in the summertime. We camp in the wintertime. Um, same thing. We we tailgate for Bucks games, which which is a blast. But you know, one of the things that it, you know what we did is we, we took a camper down to um, Westgate River Ranch. It's it's right there in Lake Wales, Florida, and they have a big old rodeo. Okay. So I thought I'd mention rodeo here in, yeah. in Oklahoma. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> and it was a blast, you okay. know? And, yeah. But, you know, seeing the looks on the kid's face when, again, the campfire, the memories. I, I just read a book by by David Berner, I believe is what his last name is. And he has a quote in there is that, you know, a road trip is iconic to America. Yeah. It's, it's when... The, the it's when you're on your final deathbed, those are the memories that resurface. Yeah. Right. The, like those ones. See, remember when dad tried to dump the, you know, dump tank, you know, and, and things went very wrong. You yeah. know, that's the sort of memories. And I had a rep tell me really, really early on in my career that it's fun to sell fun. Yes. And that's is. what I've always had a motto in. And at Newmar, not only are you getting quality luxury service after the sale, innovative you, uh, uh, things, uh, innovative parts inside our motorhome, but you always, you're having fun too. And you're creating those memories, which is really big for us. Yeah. And so, uh, why would you say, we heard what Troy said about why yeah. the super C or why Newmar? Um, well, I know the question was, uh, why choose uh, Newmar when looking for a motorhome? Yeah. So why, obviously to set yourselves apart, you guys are the guys that are actually utilizing your motorhomes. Any other um, things that you would throw in there that would set you above anybody else when it comes to looking for a motorhome? Yeah, so the nice part about being in this industry for a while is you get to see both sides of the fence. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you get to work for, for other manufacturers and you get to see how other things are done. The tagline, when you know the difference, isn't just a tagline for us. It's something we live every day. Mm-hmm. And when our customers know the difference between how a motorhome is built with real insulation instead of, you know, block foam in certain areas. In in using the best of the best of whether it's material of build, right? Raw chassis, material build, steel, aluminum, or whether it's picking the difference between a Samsung television mm-hmm. and a Bose speaker yeah. versus a Sansui television and, <laughs> and something that may cost less. Yeah 
but ultimately won't work. Yes. And so for me, you know how many times I had to learn that lesson in life (laughs) (laughs) to save a dollar to be like, ah, I I should have spent that extra dollar. That's it. That's it. Wait a minute. When you know the difference is when you know the difference to spend the the extra money or something that's going to be peace of mind, whether you're spending it in the time or whether you're spending it in money, we, we, we want to make sure that, uh, you, you know, you have the time to create those memories and you're not on the sidelines getting your motorhome fixed. Yes. And that's our tagline. Um, we've kind of adapted and we've stuck with it as turning miles into memories. Yeah. You know, I love that. And if you're not, you know, if you don't know how to utilize your motorhome correctly, which is, that's, we're really big on training up front before they leave. Um, if you don't uh, have that service after the sale, you're not going to be able to enjoy and turn those miles into memories. So um, I, I think that's awesome how we both have that same uh, drive in, in our partnership to make our customer, um, you know, enjoy those moments. Yes. Um, and I'm glad you brought up the fact that your guys are utilizing and they actually go camping. That's awesome to hear because uh, Willie D and myself, it's one of our biggest pitches to anybody that's looking to buy. It's like, you want to buy from us because of service after the sale, number one. And number two, we actually go RV camping. You would be shocked mind blown at how many RV dealers have salesmen have majority of their staff never have been in an RV camping outside of the campsite. And you and I both know if your customer goes, Hey dude, I just bought this water hose from Walmart to hook up to my, uh, faucet water. You're like, Oh no, you know, or like they didn't put the pressure regulator or they, or they're like, they're calling you like, Hey, I have this weird thing. They don't know how to assist or help their customer because they haven't been through that situation. Yeah. So I think it's really awesome to hear that um, you guys are also going through that same process. Yep. Um, and I, I see a huge difference once we get somebody that's never been RV camping. We let them borrow a travel trailer and go down to Lake Keystone and camp out for a weekend because we want them to experience that and to see what it's really like to go uh, camping. So The only other thing I would add to... Uh, because of the experience that you have, we're promoting such a, f- a first time experience. You want it to be a great. Mm-hmm. That's why Numar is still growing. Yeah. Is because y- you guys have already sold like your second customer, another Numar. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of repeat business within our organization because, you know, hey, I bought a country star. Now I want a Dutch star. Yes. Hey, I just bought a Dutch star and now you guys just sold them a London air. Yeah. So that's the other thing that you want that first experience when they go to our family and maybe they paid a little bit more that they're going to get another one because they had such a great experience. Yes. And I, and I do notice that Newmar, the value of a Newmar holds its value oh, yeah. far much better than any other For coach sure. that I've ever uh, have For witnessed. Sure. And that's why we've partnered up with you guys from a dealership, you know, um, aspect. We know that you guys are going to help us service our customers correctly with, you know, when it comes to just uh, troubleshooting or a warranty work or stuff like that. So, um, I, it's really important to have these conversations to have these relationships and, um, it's cool for our uh, customers to kind of, you know, be a fly on the wall and kind of witness this and actually yeah. see it firsthand. Cause you could say it all day long. You know, we have a commercial out right now. It's like, I know, you know, I come out and I say, hey, I know everybody has the best prices. Everybody says it, but I'm going to prove it. Third-party data, you know. It was on some travel trailers. But uh, anyways. um, And and speaking of the community, too, I'd probably throw in our our country club community. Mm -hmm. Uh, Our customers are are very welcoming to new people who, who, who may trade in a... Uh, a different manufacturer for a new mar yeah and they're just so welcoming and 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 they they offer suggestions and whether it's it's on a uh, a post you know a board that that you just say hey listen i'm having this issue i think that's another reason that we we really love being part of that community and and our our customers are fantastic about that speaking of that do you have uh, you have a seminar for customers first time customers correct well, at our country club rally, which That's we're it, having yeah. in September, yeah, there we bring uh, tons of service people out there, and then they do some training okay. for people that come and want to learn about their coach or different stuff. For that, and it's like a week long. Uh, we rally. have a customer that I guess that went to one of like he went to oh, one of those. You're and... you're talking about our masters training for sales people last year. 
So yeah. in October, November, and December, okay. we put on a training seminar for master salespeople uh, to get certified, you know, on top of what we do at MPPI, mm -hmm. which we have a training test that all salespeople have to take for Numar. But then we bring uh, you all sent, I don't know, probably five or six of your staff members yeah. to our training session. And, you know, they get to look at chassis, raw chassis, learn some of the features with that. They go down the production line. And then we do a, a lot of uh, quizzes and tests yeah. to make sure that they, uh, you know, pass the master's training session at Newmark. So that's probably what you're talking about. Yeah, where Chuck yours, was so geeked out. Oh, he was yeah. like, oh, did you know this and that? And he was like telling me all about it. I was like, whoa, that's so cool. And of my oh, yeah. dealer network, I try and get all my salespeople because yeah. usually when they get back, it's like new Marshall, new Marshall, new Marshall. Yeah. yeah. He was like, oh, if you want to do this here and that there, and <laughs> if you want to check this and you do that, I'm like, whoa, dude, how did you learn all of this? He's like, I went to the seminar. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. that's so awesome. Yeah. I'll also say, you know, any prospective customers out there that is li are listening to this, we offer plant tours. Come, oh, yeah. come to Napanee. We, we do a fantastic way of showing you. Don't, don't listen to Troy and I. I mean, yeah. we, we do, you know, we love our company, but go see it firsthand. Mm -hmm. You know, sign up, you know, email us and, and try to get into Napanee and see it firsthand. Sweet. Matt, what is your favorite model right now on the market and why? Oh, man. That's a... It's uh, a loaded uh, question. Uh, I understand. <laughs> but what... They're you know, all, that's like, you know... You got to pick one. is so your if, favorite, right? Exactly. <laughs> but if you can pick one, you're like, hey, I like this one because of the, these features, because, you know, your lifestyle, it just matches your lifestyle the best. Yeah. I mean, for me, I'm a bunkhouse base star guy. You, okay. you know, I, I have my, my children, Claire and Ethan, eight and 10, you know, we're, you know, I love the, the, the space that it gives you full wall. Um, the beds super nice. I only need one bathroom, but I need the bunks. Right. Yes. And, and, and so for me, having, having the ability that at 30 feet to get into national and state parks, mm -hmm. which is a really, you know, a uh, big thing for me and my family, but also having the bunk beds that are comfortable, that work, that, that are safe, even the overhead drop down bunk, because a lot of times it, it's not just us camping. We're taking another family of four, yeah. right? So pull out couch, overhead bunk, bunk beds, queen size, king size bed. That's us. So base star. Troy. All right. I'm going to go two angles here. Okay. Two angles. Okay. Two angles. I have two. Okay. <laughs> My first one is the Canyon Star. He's getting paid too much, man. He's going to buy two. I love, <laughs> I love the Canyon Star because we're very unique in the industry. We're the yeah. only one to have a front engine diesel. Yeah. And it's a toy hauler or camping mover. What motorhome in the industry can you haul five to eight bikes? You have Ooh. little kids. Yeah. Some of your, your kids want to bring friends. Yeah. And you got to put the bikes. Where are you going to put them? You can't. Yeah. In a Canyon Star, you do. And I like the Canyon Star because it goes out yeah. to the campground, goes to the lake, you unload everything, and all the kids can double deck sleep up there. So that's one as a grandpa that's going to have grandbabies. Okay. Canyon Star would be one. But really kind of a new one that's to the industry right now is the Mountain Air 38-footer. Okay. Uh, horsepower is 525, a tag axle. Oh. It's the only small motorhome under 40 feet. Shh, you hit the pedal, it gets up and goes. Really? And it's a great new floor plan. So kind of the, those are my two. Sorry, I had to, you know, kind of do both. So Okay. Matt, what are you most excited about for 2023 and Newmar um, and going forward? Yeah, 2023, 2024s are right around the corner. Um, to me, it's, I mean, we talked a lot about that Super C, but, but really we're, we're kind of new into that space. Mm -hmm. And having the Super C, I, I'm really looking forward to that, quite frankly, exploding. Because I don't know if, if, uh, if the current you know, manufacturer who's dominating the market has been challenged. And I think, I think there's some room there for, for, for that to happen. And so for me, into our 2024 product, um, we've had some lifestyle changes on the Ventana, mm -hmm. which, which look beautiful. Um, and, and so for us, I think that's, that's what I'm really excited about to see what this Super C does for us in the market. Before I let you answer, I have to ask you, Matt, who do you think are 
and I'm asking because marketing, right? My marketing brain, and I've got to make sure that we're targeting the correct customers. Who do you see um, is our target demographic for the Super C? Yeah, I, I got asked this question the other day. Um, two, two answers to that question. One, okay. the fact that we can tow, tow Troy, is 20,000 pounds on that, right? I mean, 15,000. Okay, 15,000 pounds. So again, 15,000 pounds gives us the availability to tow more than what some other, certainly gas, but also diesels that can do out there in the market space. And two, I, I think it's for... You know, a lot of times you get into our coaches and, and it's very big. It's very intimidating. It's not like what, you, you know, it's, it's just very intimidating. And yeah. sometimes the man can be the constant driver in that. Yeah. What I think a super C does is it gives you that sense of safety. Yeah. It, it, it gives you that sense of a, a big, you know, like you're driving your truck. Yeah. Right. And, and whether you're male, female, mom, dad, whoever it is, both can drive that with complete ease. And I think that's who might be a super C buyer too. Yeah. So it kind of helps out with the, pl the placebo effect of like, hey, I could do this. Because when they see sure. the, the class, you know, a class A, they're like, oh, do I have to have a special driver's license? Right. I'm like, absolutely not. Yeah. It's just like driving a... A truck, and I think the like C that. with the doors and the cab, and you just feel like you're in a in, like a in your big truck, right? Yeah. You know that I think that makes it easier. So I think that's what you'll see in a, in a super C buyer too. Nice. What are you most excited about, Troy? Uh, you got any tricks up your sleeve for 2024? I know we're about uh, halfway through 2023. Yeah, yeah uh, we still are building 2023s. You know, our first 2024s won't really be out until like September. You know, product wise, I mean, we, we've talked about that on the podcast, yeah. I guess for me as a sales rep or an account manager, um, I'm probably the most excited about my dealer network, Yeah, you know, and where our dealer network has been mm -hmm. and where they're going. And you're a prime example of that. Okay. Wade's RV. You start off, you know, just kind of, and each year you guys have sold more and more and more and you've recognized in you know our territory of our dealer network we only choose the best of the best dealers mm. and that for me as a sales rep promoting the industry i think that's very important for a, a manufacturer rep or a manufacturer to team up and partner with dealers and i take really pride in visiting all my dealers making sure i have the right relationships with yeah. like you and and willie and all your sales staff yeah. so that's probably what is most exciting because I've taken the territory you yeah. know, from that standpoint and uh, it's exciting. How could we get better as a dealership and, and to get to that next level from platinum to diamond? Well, uh, you lay, know, it out, man. lay it out there for us. We, we got to know you guys are on the right path. Yeah. I mean, let's face it. And maybe Wade might get mad at me even saying this, but five years ago, you weren't really known as a motorhome dealer. We weren't, yeah. I mean, you're a travel trailer fifth wheel dealer. Yeah. Let's face it. Yeah. I sold you some other brands, but it wasn't, <laughs> you know, you weren't really. You look at in the last five years, Yeah. Wade's RV comes up as a premier motorhome dealer. Yeah. So you're on the right path. Yeah. You can't do everything that fast. Exactly. Because you'll make mistakes. You're doing it in a good, slow, you know, taking care of the customer and not losing reality, you know, trying to be all things to all people. Exactly. And you're doing it right. So I, you're on the right path. Yeah. You know, a couple more orders. I'd be okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say this uh, too, looking at your new facility, what we're in right now and, and, and what you've done here is, you know, we use the term destination location a lot. Yes. And we know that customers are willing to fly willing to drive to get that experience and to have, I think you guys are on a really good trajectory in, in, in building a destination location to buy your new Mar. Yes. And that's a big deal for us. So I, I keep doing that and keep keeping your CSI scores. Again, you guys have some really dynamite CSI scores. And, and when I say that it's, it's customer service, it's a survey that goes out so if you do buy from Wade's, fill out that survey, be honest, and then that way, you know, you guys can climb the ladder as far as into Diamond. Yes, that's, that's our goal for next year. When we come back out there to the award ceremony and look at the new RVs and stuff, 
I want to be on stage getting that diamond all trophy. Right. Yeah. So. And if you haven't seen it, you got to come to Wade's yeah. just to look at the picture of all you guys on the stage. It was yeah. awesome. It was. And I, was, I took a lot of pride because <laughs> – that's my guys. That's my yeah. dealership, you know? Heck yeah. And the you first award. Too, yeah, Troy. that's right. You know it. That's awesome. Together well, we did it. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming out. And, you know, I think it, it's, it says, it speaks volumes that you're here visiting both locations today. And we appreciate you taking the time to do that, you know, and, uh, you know, any, uh, any last words, guys? Nothing. That's it. Well, no, they, I, I know you guys got to go. You got to, you're, uh, we're yeah. we're on to, go to uh, your other Goldsby. Yeah, and a half drive, so. I'll just say thank you. And uh, if you haven't test drove a Newmar, you need to get to Wade's RV. <laughs> Troy said so. And <laughs> little Wade said, "Yeah, that's a that's a wrap for uh, RV camping with Wade's RV." Until next time, don't forget every Friday at ten a.m. Uh, tune in for a brand new podcast episode on our YouTube channel. Give us a like and and uh, subscribe. And if you have any questions, just drop it in the comments below. See ya.